Chico, this is a very expansive storm. If you live in the Great Lakes and your friends live in Florida, well, you all are both experiencing the same system. So the threat in the south, we've had uh, flash flooding occurring near Macon, Georgia, there in central Georgia, where they've already seen three to four inches. They could see an additional one to three. But look at the yellow. Panama City, Valdosta, Savannah, heads up. You're under a tornado watch through this afternoon. And that's because a lot of these storms are robust. They are going to bring the threat for severe weather, especially in that yellow zone there. So we can see damaging winds along with some isolated tornadoes. Meanwhile, on the northern tier of the storm, heavy rain through parts of uh, the I-95 corridor through tonight and snow on the really tippy tippy top of it into parts of New England. There they could see 12 to 18 inches of snow in some of the higher elevations. That's the weather across the country. Here's your local forecast. Tomorrow just previewed the soaking rain on the way to us for the second half of today. But we're starting cloudy, cool, and mostly dry out there. Temperatures upper 30s, low 40s. Not much rain to temp today. We stay in the mid 40s. What does fluctuate is rain chance and then rain intensity. Mostly dry between now and about noon. So maybe a spotty shower, but nothing that ruins plans. Afternoon, that's when you want to pull those plans indoors. Light rain at the onset, picking up in intensity. We expect the bulk of the heavy rain between 5 p.m. and 2 a.m. We're talking an inch or two of rain with a flood threat possible. And that's a look at your local forecast. Geo, back to you. Wait, hold on. Did you see her boots? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I looked over during weather and I was like, yes, boots. Those are no, cool. I can't get them on here. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> we well, got Amazon Prime here. We're going to talk fashion anyways. <laughs> right. And that is what we're going to do right now.